Hey Reefers, today we're going to introduce you the world's first programmable skimmer, the skimmer. Hi, the Roswell skimmer is the real innovation in skimming technology because with a skimmer it will be possible to balance the skimming level during the day. But it's very good as a standalone skimmer as well because it's possible to run it without any waiver, without any controller. So it will run as any other schema in the market, but with the features that we are gonna show you right now. As soon as you are opening the box of the schema, you will find this setup, and in the bottom, you will find all the accessories that you need for your schema. As you can see here, the skimmer comes already mounted, so it just takes you a couple of minutes to set it up in your sump. So the first step is to take the sewage cup here, where you will find the silicone soft piping inside. You will find a cap cover and you just have to set it over. And notice that on the bottom here there's the bracket which you will need now to place in its position which will hold the tube in its here on the back you have the plug for place the pump in a different position based on the tank or actually based on the sump that you have so you will be able to mount a pump here in this position or here in this position on the cup you will notice the sewage cover which you can mount on for all the time or you can replace with the part of the soft pipings to drain out your sewage during the time. We mount the, the cap here in this position. It's just necessary to place it on and rotate just a bit. It's not, it's not necessary to do a heavy rotation because it won't waste anything because there's a silicone seal on this side and once you take the silencer and place in its position the skimmer will be mounted so once you have finished your body set up, you have just to take your skimmer pump, which is the newest riser SX pump, and you will have to mount the base on by simply sliding until you hear a click. You take the four damping bolt to place them on the bottom here in this way so you just have to squeeze them into their housings and uh, the last operation is the venturi which you have to apply on the pump intake by simply rotating in its position and trying to keep this almost vertically the last operation is to set the feet of the skimmer base in the holes in the bottom by simply squeezing them in their position. 
The last operation to do is to rotate just a bit the silencer. Take a piece of the soft pipings, the counter included, and you plug the soft piping into the silencer in this way. And then you have to mount the pump on the connection pipe. Once you have done this, you just have to count. The soft piping and place in its venturi. Take the other part of the soft piping and connect it here into the sewage hose and apply the drain valve on the other side of the tube. So you will be able to close and open the sewage hole whenever you are you want to drain out your sewage or as we said earlier you can leave the cover here mounted and then you will just have to unmount the cup to drain out the sewage. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any question, you are very, very welcome to write an email to sales at or leave your comments here below. Enjoy!